Hi, I'm Mrs. D Math. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to go over graphing from slope and y-intercept in eighth grade math. So in the last video, we went over the slope formula and we have it here. The slope intercept form of an equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. m represents our slope and b represents our y-intercept. So if I have the equation y equals negative 2x plus 3, I can use this information and I can graph those points and then I can form my line. So here we do know, based on our equation, that we do have a linear non-proportional line. So because we have a y-intercept, which is plus 3, then I can tell that this is going to be non-proportional. All right, so we're gonna start with our y-intercept, and I can tell here with a plus three that my y-intercept is gonna be at zero, three. So that's where it crosses the y-axis. And then I have my slope, which is negative two. So that means for my rise over run, my negative two is telling me to go down two and right one, because I know I can put that negative two over one in order to turn it into a fraction, which I need for my rise and my run. So I'm gonna go down two, one, two, and then right one. So there's my next point. If I continue to do this, down two, right one, down two, right one, here I'm forming all of my points that I can connect to make my line. So once I have my points here, then I'm just going to connect the dots in order to form my line. So now I have a linear non-proportional line. It is linear because it's a straight line, but it's non-proportional. It does not go through zero, zero, my origin. I can also tell that this is a negative slope because I am going in the downward direction as I read my graph from left to right. So this is a negative slope, which I can also tell from my original equation when I have a negative two for my slope. So make sure if your slope is negative, your line is going in the downward or falling direction. So let's do another example here. We have y equals mx plus b. I still have our slope form here of an equation. And my equation is y equals 2 thirds x minus one. So let's go ahead and graph this from our equation. So I know first that my y-intercept is negative one. So I'm gonna find negative one where it crosses the y-axis. Then from there, I have my slope. And in this case, it is a positive slope. So my rise is two, so I'm gonna go up two, and my run is three. So when I start at this point here, my y-intercept, negative one, I can count rise, which is up two, and then run over three. So there's my next point. And I can continue doing this up two, right three, up two, right three, till I have enough points that I can connect those. I can even go back to the y-intercept and I can work backwards and count down two and left three. And I'm gonna end up with another point that can continue on this same line. So once you have enough points here, you can go ahead and connect the dots to form your line. And any point that falls on this line is part of y equals mx plus b from this equation. So this is your slope intercept form and we just made a line. This is a positive slope and I can double check and make sure that it is a positive slope in my original equation and my y-intercept is a negative one, so it does cross the y-axis below the zero, zero, or the origin. Well, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mrs. D Math. This has been Graphing from Slope and Y-Intercept in Eighth Grade Math. Have a great day, bye.